I'm here because I am a roaring lion crying out righteousness. I want to read um, a, 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 a clip I took off of so, Truth Social, Trump's uh, website, um, and, and posted by him. And it reads uh, from yesterday, regarding yesterday's decision by the judge, Trump writes, and I have a deranged Trump-hating judge who railroaded this fake case, all in capitals, through a New York state court at a speed never seen before, refusing to let it go to the commercial division where it belongs, denying me everything, no trial, no jury. He made this crazy kill Trump decision assigning insanely low value to properties despite overwhelming evidence. As an example, he values the most spectacular property in Palm Beach, Florida, Mar-a-Lago, at $18 million when it's worth possibly 100 times that amount. Uh, let me just pause for just a second. Do we have Mar-a-Lago, Fitcher Mar-a-Lago? I, I want to... I want to I want to say this to you. Um, I, I I at the risk of perhaps this being uh, brought up against me in trial, uh, with respect to the complaint we filed against the Mellon Bank Bank of New York and the City of New York uh, regarding the uh, unjust, uh, discriminatory, predatory. Um, an unconstitutional tax lien that they filed against the Bethelite Community to Church property here on 123rd Street. And the amount of money that we have asked for uh, and damages is, is $70 million plus interest. Now, the New York State assessment, uh, who do real property assessments, uh, reported to the New York State Court judge that Mar-a-Lago is worth $18 million, and only $18 million is what it's worth on the market. And Trump is upset that they valued it at $18 million and said it's worth 100 times that, uh, bringing it up to you know $180 million, uh, if you will. But I want to say this. We're going to be successful in our complaint of the violations of my rights uh, against the Bank of New York Mellon and the city of New York, we're, we're going to be successful. God is on our side. Um, the truth is even on the side of God. Um, and should we receive that $18 million, that, that $70 million, I'm going to buy Mar-a-Lago. I'm going to buy Mar-a-Lago and... My, my, my primary use of Mar-a-Lago will be to turn it into a school, but mainly uh, for Haitian migrants. Uh, and Palm Beach probably wouldn't like that. They're zoning and coding. Maybe wouldn't want all those Haitian people coming and people coming down from Harlem because it's a sprawling piece of property Mar-a-Lago is. But I commit this to you. And this may be used against me in court, but I, it's in my heart and I'm not afraid to speak it. We win and we're going to win. I, I think that uh, even the Mellon Bank will realize at some point in time that just go ahead and settle this matter and give us the funds. Well, so we're going to win. And I'm going to buy Mar-a-Lago. I'm going to buy Mar-a-Lago. I said several years ago that we would buy Mar-a-Lago. But with those funds, and I'm going to turn it into a school, perhaps one of our first colleges, uh, Mar-a-Lago College or Otla College on Palm Beach. Uh, we probably have to go through a lot of red tape to get that done. But this will be perhaps one of our colleges that we will, uh, uh, campuses rather, that will be used for a college. I am going to buy Mar-a-Lago. You say, Pastor Manning, you know, you know, you speak a lot of lofty things. Well, you know, we received that $70 million. This would be less than a third of that amount. And look what we would end up with a great property like this. And we'd probably get a lot of tax abatements because we'd be, we would buy it for a not-for-profit organization and use it for a not-for-profit organization. We'll have to further define what would be the best use of it, but it would not be a country club or a resort. It will be used for educational purposes and for purposes of developing people uh, to become better citizens. 
I commit to you, I will buy, or we will, I should say, Otla, better yet, will buy Mar-a-Laga. That we will do. Uh, because it's going into receivership anyway. 